Hey guys, so um, I wanted to do another one of these little agenda videos to kind of go through what the next couple of weeks are going to look like. Um, I'm going to do something a little strange. I'm going to start not with next week, the February 1st through 5th, but instead start with February 8th. So this is um, not next week, but next next week. All right. So here's the thing. I have no clue. We're about... We're about to take an exam, okay? We're about to take the unit five exam, the multiple choice and the free response and so on and so forth. The problem is, is that whenever I do have you guys take these quizzes at home without uh, anyone proctoring you, the average points are about 10 to 20 points higher than what they typically are if I'm proctoring you. Now, it could just be that you guys are have like really calm and cool and not nervous so that's causing the it up or you guys are um what's the what's the term i've heard using resources available to you like the internet cheating you're cheating um you know hey i don't blame you I, if, if if i was in that situation i probably would use the resources available to me as well um but i can't let that go <laughs> so um they are going to have to be proctored um so uh, i have no idea if the, if the week of the eighth is going to be distance or not they keep kind of waiting to tell us until friday before so i have to kind of come up with two two different plans uh so what is this going to look like well if we are distance the multiple choice quiz is going to be on tuesday during our synchronous session where i can actually see what you guys are doing and whatnot. The free response quiz will be on Thursday. Thursday, again, the secret session where I can proctor you guys. Uh, so that is going to be what is going on uh, if we are distance, okay? If we are in person, the multiple choice quiz is gonna be on Monday and the free response quiz is gonna be on Tuesday. This is gonna be right away. Um, I was planning on us having uh, our um, our uh, distance, or uh, I'm sorry, I was planning on having us have this quiz the week of the second, or this exam on the second. So I'm gonna pause that. Mm -hmm. All right. So I was planning on having the exam be the week of the second, but because we're distance that's not really going to be doable all right so let's talk about what the week of the second is going to look like let me even write this here uh two two twenty one all right so this is the week of the second all right monday uh monday i have this little kinetic simulation video that i can show you um basically there's a, a fet simulation in fact i have it open right here i can show you real quick so this little thing uh will help you kind of understand what actually is happening with um with kinetics this uh collision theory uh you know molecules have to hit each other with enough force and a right orientation uh, and you can kind of play around with this you can change the temperature you can look at this energy diagram uh, and these are very very simple reactions that are taking place you can change the temperature of it as well you can add more reactant uh, or product so on and so forth uh, I'm, I'm gonna kind of go through this in a video on monday um, then i'm also going to give you this worksheet this is a um a worksheet that i want you guys to kind of run through on monday this is kind of just a if you've been paying attention it's kind of one question on each topic so can you write the rate expression uh in terms of delta reactant over time can you write uh figure out the uh order of the reactant using uh this kinetics data uh if i give you the k can you tell me what the concentration is going to be at three minutes? Is this like in using that integrated rate law? What's the half-life? Can you do that kind of stuff? Um, here you can, uh, you know, kind of the same thing, looking at um, what is the order of these reactions going to be? 
uh, it starts talking about mechanisms. So we have these initial concentrations, we have the initial rates, experiments. Um, can you determine this rate law? Um, we start talking about mechanisms. So this is the slow step, this is the fast step. What's the overall reaction? What's the, um, so on and so forth. Uh, looking at energy diagrams. Now this one's a multi-step reaction. This is gonna be really fun. Uh, we're kind of, kind of identifying where each of these things are um, and you know, so on and so forth. If you guys can go through and answer all of these and understand what's going on, then you should be good for the exam. This is a good kind of um, study guide for the exam coming up. If you guys can do this, you should be good. You should be fine. Uh, if you're having trouble answering some of these questions and understanding these questions, then you need to, to, to talk to me. Email me and just say, hey, question two is throwing me for a loop. What's going on? All right. So, on, so try these questions out on Monday. Work through them. If you're having problems, uh, bring those problems on Tuesday. We're going to go over this and answer these questions. On Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, this is where I would normally do a lab and have us go through and, and work on some kinetics in the lab. Unfortunately, we don't. So instead, what I'm going to do is just kind of give you guys some kinetics problems uh, and use this as a as a drill. I mean, just kind of drill these problems into you. Um, you know, sometimes repetition with these problems are going to be the best. Um, to go through and do that, I'm going to, what I think I'm going to do is give you the worksheet, have this worksheet due on, you know, like, I don't know, the, let's say I have, I assigned this on Wednesday, I'll have it due on Thursday, and then put out a video with answers on Thursday night after it's due. Um, same thing here so on and so forth. Uh, and don't forget, Sundays with Stobie. I'm going to say this. I'm recording this in the afternoon on the 31st, Sunday. I'm going to have Sundays with Stobie tonight. Um, I don't know how many people are going to be on, but uh, I'm also going to have it on the 7th, which is, yep, so the 7th, is right before the exam. So that would be a good time for you to um, get a hold of me, talk to me we can work through whatever questions you guys have all right we'll get through this guys it'll be okay oh I'm, i will say this we will not be having a, a in-person synchronous day on thursday the thursday the what day is it fourth thursday the fourth we will not have one this day um i got a dentist appointment so I'm going to get my teeth drilled. Oh, no. I'm going to be in pain. So if anything, you can have a little bit of schadenfreude knowing that whatever pain I'm instilling into you, I'm also feeling some pain. So, you know, there's that. All right, guys. Uh, if you have questions, don't be afraid to email me. Uh, I've been getting a lot of emails about just grades and whatnot. Um, you know, I'll, I'll try to work on, on grades here in a little bit, but I'm much more worried about you guys um, getting the material down. Right now, don't worry so much about grades. It's distance um, as far as grading goes. As long as you're turning in work, you should be fine. Um, if you're having uh, difficulties during this strange pandemic time, let me know. You know, I'm I'm a human being. As long as it's a, a you, as long as you're putting forth the effort, um, I'm a pretty easy guy, going guy when it comes to that. Except if you're not turning in the effort. If you're not putting in the effort, I I I'll put in as much effort as you. How about that? All right, <laughs> great. Um, yep. I will see you guys on Monday. Or tonight, if you guys show up tonight. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.